Well, it was scary. I mean, you know, you open up, right, you open up the door and there's guys with guns pointing at you. A newsroom shooting rampage, five killed, two hurt, a man in custody, the long history between him and the Capital Gazette newspaper staff. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. And I'm Ken Molestina. Doug is off tonight. We now know it was a targeted attack. One gunman quite literally blasted his way into the building to get to his victims. And tonight newspaper staff say their newsroom was always vulnerable. You can see the entire newsroom. It's a completely open newsroom. You can see the people at their desks. You can see the editor's offices lining up on the left. Um, and my point is, it's, it's totally vulnerable. Well, the Capitol Gazette building is in Annapolis, Maryland, and that's where we find CBS's Kylie Atwood. This Annapolis office park became a crime scene Thursday afternoon. Police say a gunman opened fire at a newspaper office, home to the Capitol Gazette. Several shots have been fired, uh, possible uh, shotgun, at least 10 shots heard. A reporter at the paper said the gunman shot through the glass door into the newsroom. He tweeted, quote, there is nothing more terrifying than hearing multiple people get shot while you're under your desk and then hear the gunman reload. This person was prepared to shoot people. 38-year-old Jared Ramos is being questioned in connection with the shooting. Five people were killed and at least two others were injured. First victim's name is Wendy Winters. Second victim is Rebecca Smith. Third victim is Robert Hyacin. Fourth victim is Gerald Feshman. And the fifth victim is John McNamara. Police arrived at the incident within a minute of the first emergency call. There were a whole bunch of police cars outside that they had their guns raised. Some lady who um, was a couple of doors down from us said that she heard something and when she looked around the corner, she ended up seeing the guy with the gun and um, she ran back inside and barricaded herself. He was taken into custody by officers. There was no gunfire exchange between officers and the suspect. Police aren't confirming, but sources tell CBS News the suspect damaged his fingertips to prevent quick identification. Authorities ultimately use facial recognition software to confirm his identity. Police say threats against the newspaper were made on social media prior to the shooting, but they're still determining the source. Detectives are interviewing more than 100 people who were in the building at the time as investigators go over the crime scene. Kylie Atwood, CBS News, Annapolis, Maryland. Jared Ramos's problems with the paper date back to at least 2011. The paper covered a criminal harassment case that ended with his guilty plea. The next year, he filed a defamation lawsuit against the paper, but a judge dismissed the case. When we learn new information, we're going to bring it to you right here on CBS 11 and 24 hours a day on our CBS DFW social media channels.